I mean, you can get all the money you want together. You don't own the money. The money is not real. They own this system. We cannot beat these people within this system. And getting mad at me is literally shooting the message. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. That video I did with Riza Islam, Riza Islam on the cover seem to rub some people the wrong way. And I know we have this, this sense that we're supposed to be loyal towards any talking points that come across as pro-black. But at some point, pro-black has to also be pro-fact. It has to be pro-common sense. It has to be pro-right. It has to be something that is just universally correct. And all of the rhetoric that these dudes, Dr. Claude Anderson, Dr. Umar Johnson, the Black Channel, Jason Black, uh, uh, Reza Islam and the Nation of Islam, uh, uh, Boyce Watkins, all of the, the rhetoric that these dudes spit is just not right. It's not pro-black. It's pro-white system. That's what they are putting in your head how to uphold and further advance the white man's dominating control over humanity. Because the more we participate in his system, the more his grip around our neck stays firmly secure. We have to break away, my brothers and sisters. There is no beating this man within his system. There is no, listen, you could talk money all you want. They literally own all money. Your money is never your money. Your money belongs to them. They create it. They control it. They, they determine its value, its buying power, inflation rates. They own your money. Money is not real, it is a tool within this system. You know what is real? Earth, land, water, air, electricity. These things are real and they are omnipresent. They are present all over the place. The earth gives us everything we need for free. We don't need anything from this system. All we need is freedom. But because we bought into the system, we have e effectively uh, 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 traded in our freedom, our autonomy for capitalism, for social economics, for economics, for commerce. This is what we have done. And these kinds of people double down on it year in, year out. The children ran off and got smart, but we don't own anything now. Ran off the college, got, got a mortgage type debt at 24 years old and don't even own a home. But we don't own anything anymore. We don't really have anything. And even today, the way the system is, you never really own your home. You always have to pay some type of fee on your home. Property taxes or something. It's, it's always a threat that they can take away your home. Years, decades after you've already paid it out, your mortgage is gone, but you still have to pay every year in on, on your home. Your car is the same way. You never own your car. Your car paid for, but don't get the registration fees paid for. Don't, don't do the inspections. You can't drive your own car. It doesn't matter if you pay for it. And then they start hitting you with fees and fines. Before you know it, you owe $10,000 just so you could drive a car that you had paid for for 10 years. You haven't had a car note in 10 years, but you can't drive your own car until you pay this $5,000 in fees and fines so that you can drive your car on the streets. You own nothing under this system. It is an illusion. 
It is an illusion of ownership. It is an illusion of winning. The whole black power struggle is 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 been fashioned around money, which is why we can't win. As long as our our in all be all in all is money. Listen to Jason Black on the Black Channel. Oh, we gotta get our money together. We gotta get our money together. You know they talk so funny. You know how they talk. You know we gotta get our money together. You know what I'm saying? We gotta get our money together. I, I mean, you can get all the money you want together. You don't own the money. The money is not real. They own this system. We cannot beat these people within this system. And getting mad at me is literally shooting the messenger. What the hell y'all mad at me for about this, bro? Now I do, this brother here, I will say he was respectful in his little discourse with me. He challenged me, but he did so very respectfully. And I want to give O'Shawn, O'Chan or O'Shawn, how we pronounce it, D, I want to really give him a shout out and give him, you know, mad props, mad respect because he challenged, but he was very respectful in his challenges. But he, he compared me to Candace Owens and, and I responded to like, Brother, if you can't see that I am nothing like Candace Owens, then you have a problem, not me. See, I'm not about to let y'all straw man me, but have me defending myself against false accusations. I'm tired of it, man. I'm tired of the dudes that claim I don't like black women because my wife is not black. When all I do is talk to black people. But what I'm supposed to do? Let some crazy woman mess my life up just because she's black? I'm supposed to pass up a good woman just because she's not black? and be miserable like the rest of you dudes? No, life don't work that way, man. You know what I'm saying? I understand life, and I'm trying to teach y'all to understand life. You know, I'm tired of you dudes call me a conservative if, if I go against a conservative, I mean, a, a liberal talking point. Or if I go against a conservative talking point, they call me a liberal. I mean, I, I'm, I'm everything to you people. I'm a left wing, a right wing, a up, down, cool, sell out, you know, uh, 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 Stockholm Syndrome, me. I'm everything you people, but the truth is, I rub everybody the wrong way because I stand on universal truth. At some point, none of y'all is all right. At some point, every side within this system is wrong. I mean, and not at some point, I'm saying that wrong. At most points, the system, the points inside the system that are right are only like the broken clock. They only right two times a day. The rest of the day, they're wrong. And I'm here trying to point out the wrongs. And y'all are getting mad at me. Y'all are trying to call me names. Y'all want to try to flag my channel. Y'all want to try to boycott my channel. Not support it. All kind of stuff, man. But I am not the reason why this is happening the way it is. I am in it just like you. I was born in it just like you. The only difference is I was born inside the matrix with the ability to see the flaws of the matrix with the ability to see the matrix for what it really is. And now my job is to try to wake up as many of y'all as I can so that we can go out and create our own Zion. But y'all are resisting me. Y'all are all acting like Cypher. Y'all all are resisting me. Y'all want to be plugged back in. Y'all want to stay inside of it. Reza Islam is popular, man, because the stuff he says sound good. It sounds pro-black. But none of y'all ever stop to think, well, how does this work in reality? You see, talking in theory is one thing, but how does any of this stuff work in reality? How do we really take money that they control and own? Huh? How do we take that and actually change the system that they control and own? How do we take something that's their weapon, that they have weaponized against the population, against the people, money, and, and, and systemic power and systemic hierarchies. How do we take that and beat them with it? See, this is the problem I had with this whole thing with Dr. Eric Dyson, him and um Mark Lamont, uh, uh, Mark Lamont Hill, or uh, 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 what's the dude's name? Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, sell out dude on, on, on the media. They mad right now because they feel like they're losing their influence on the masses, on black community in, in particular, because of social media. And I heard all of these dudes, the Black Channel and, and, and uh, uh, Phil Scott from the Vice Show and some other cats, all these dudes did videos talking about 
them mocking him, but none of them pointed out the most pertinent thing that Dr. Eric Dyson said. He said that we have gotten away from our traditional way of coming to know the world. Fast forward, then he said, we don't respect the hierarchy anymore. That's the problem because the hierarchy starts with white supremacy. That's where it starts. We should not respect the hierarchy. We should not let them tell us what to put in our bodies just because they call themselves doctor. When we know that we were the first medicine men, that we were the first healers before we had accredited doctors. That we learned how to heal by, with, via nature in a natural way before they had accredited systemic doctors. So now we supposed to just blindly listen to somebody because they got a PhD? We supposed to just blindly, I mean, look at the condition of our world. Every economist that runs our, our, our world has a PhD. Look at the economy. We're starving, homeless. You got people that work full-time jobs and can't afford a place to live. Our government is full of people with degrees and they don't give a damn about nobody. I mean, the people at the top have let us down. What are we holding on to? And why do we think we're gonna change this by getting a few crumbs? That little money you get won't change this system because the system itself is bigger than the money. The money only works within the system. They still own and control the system. What is that so hard to understand? Why is that so hard to understand? Let me say that properly. Why is that so hard to understand? What about that is so hard to understand? You know when you're hype, you start mixing sentences together, you know, your brain working so fast. What about that is so hard to understand? I speak straight common sense to y'all. Don't shoot the messenger. Stop being mad at me. I am what you need. You, I might not be what you want. I am what you need. Unlike the rest of these dudes, I don't have a fake bone in my body, bro. I walk it how I talk it. How I am is how I am. What I said I've done, I did. Where I've said I've been, I've been. I'm here conveying my life lessons to you on social media for free. And you're mad at me? Why? By now, I should have 2 million subscribers. Why? Why? Why my channel is slowly creeping up? Every week I get one subscriber. Why? Because y'all don't want to hear the truth. Y'all don't want to hear the truth. Y'all want to live in this fantasy, but fantasy does not make real changes. Listen to reason all you want, it ain't gonna change nothing. Build all the schools you want, it's not gonna change anything because you still gotta teach what they tell you to teach. Get all the money you want, you still can't own a bank. If you get a bank, that bank is still ruled and governed by their banking system. You can't get around it. What about, what, what am I saying that's so hard to understand? What am I saying that 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 warrant attacks, disses, curses, flags? What am I saying that's so offensive to y'all? I am the realest black man out here right now, and y'all don't want to hear it because what you want is somebody to sell you a false dream of hope. What y'all want, y'all want in on that man's system and that's where we are fundamentally different. I don't want to be around these people. See, but I'm the sellout. These people got nothing that I want. They got no way that they live that I envy. I want no participation with them. I, want, I, I don't want to be a part of their world. I don't want to live how they live. I don't want to do what they do. I don't envy them people, man. Them people ain't, them people are less than dirt to me. That's the fundamental difference between you and me. But y'all say I'm the sellout. Well, you got that white wife, man, I don't care. Y'all should hear how she talk. Y'all don't know her mind. Y'all are assuming that she 
it, she is proof of my mentality, of my seller, of my trading, or of my position on things. Instead of thinking maybe he is proof of her position on things. You never thought about that. Maybe the fact that she's with him saying something about her instead of the other way around. Y'all so quick to dismiss and demean strong brothers. Do I look at the kind of dude that's gonna fold for anybody? Do I come across like I'm about to bow just to be with somebody? See, but y'all say that to make yourself feel good about you and your sellout ways. Y'all put me in that position hoping that I'm going to defend it, you know what I'm saying? So, so you can hide the fact, see that, that that's, that's projecting. So you can hide the fact that you're really talking about yourself. Because I don't want nothing to do with these people. And everything about the way I move has been about that. But every time I talk to one of these Hebrew Israelites talking about money, I talk to a Moor, they talking about money. I talk to a Nation Islam member, they talking about money. I talk to pan Africans, they talking about money. And slavery. You know what I'm saying? They want reparations. You know, every everybody you talk to in the hood that consider themselves to be some form of pro-black, their main focus is money and education, which they control. How you let the devil educate you? How you sit here and preach all day how these people hate you, but you let them tell you about you? Got all y'all talk about y'all from slaves and y'all are global people. Descendants of the original man. Probably the oldest people on the planet over here in the Western Hemisphere. You, my brother and sister. You. But you let all these PhDs and scientists and scholars tell you that no, no you're not. You come from Africa in the jungles, you, you wasn't nothing. They don't want to give you Egypt no more. These are your teachers. And you wonder why we have such a disconnect. But y'all get mad at me. As if I'm the one teaching you to hate yourself. I'm telling you reject all of it. But you're mad at me. Because you don't want to reject it. You just want to placate to this devil enough for him to pat you on the head, call you a good boy or girl, the black woman. Y'all already sold out. I try not to get on y'all, but sisters, I'm going to tell y'all. I don't have nothing personal against you, but don't think I don't see you for what you are. Y'all have long sold us out and abandoned us. So don't you come at me about why I got a white wife. How many of y'all would really date me and marry me? How many of y'all could I actually trust? Got some coon dude talking about black women the most loyal. No, they not. No, they not. Anyway, what I was saying is that y'all just want to place at this table, get pat on the head, get called a good little boy, you know what I'm saying, get the scraps off the table. That's what y'all want. That's what y'all want. That's all y'all want. And y'all sit here and fight amongst each, uh, amongst each other. You ever notice that black people's only real enemy seem to be other black people? We sit here and cry about everything we read in the paper, everything some white from a white person say about us. But we say we say the same things about ourselves. Every time a sister says something about men in general, you got these black dudes on YouTube that turn around and reinterpret that to mean, oh, she talking about Pookie and Ray Ray. She's talking about all of us, bruh. All of us. Like Jay-Z said, that's in the speculation of talking about all of y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's talking about all of us. But, you, but see, how they see it in their mind, she can't be talking about me because I'm better. Pookie and Ray Ray, I'm better than them. They your brothers. You ain't better than them. You could be different. But truth be told, you ain't better than them because you are just trying to conform to a system that hate you and they are trying to find a way around it. They have become the animals that the system have created and you have become the, 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 the passive sellout that the system has created. You both are lost. Both of y'all lost. We need somebody that can bridge that gap between the thugs and the squares. That's where I come in at. Who else have my mix of experiences? I 
control both the languages of the thug and the square. I'm highly educated, smart, I was good in school, and I was a wild, wild street dude. I can talk both languages. I was sent here to you. I don't like getting all spooky and I don't want to put myself in a position like I'm some kind of prophet or messenger. But God leave. How else can you look at all of these worldly, all these, these varied experiences that I actually have, that I can actually speak from? It, it, you can't interpret it no other way, but I was being groomed by a higher power to talk to y'all. That's why I'm here. I'm not here for your money. I'm here because you need to hear what I have to say. I am here for you. The question is, are you gonna recognize that or are you gonna keep on playing these dumb games, pretending and lying to yourself like you can actually make enough money in your lifetime to actually put a dent in these people game? Come on, man. Who y'all lying to? Why y'all mad at me, man? Y'all know daggone well you ain't gonna make enough money. We can't, we couldn't do it collectively. Man. That's another thing. These poverty pimps like Reza Islam, they always talk about doing something collective. But, uh, uh, but the crazy thing is, he's gonna benefit the most off it. They are trying to pimp you, bruh. They are, these dudes are not good black men, man. I hate saying it like that. Boyce Watkins is not your brother. Dr. Umar Johnson is not your brother. You know, the Black Channel, he's not your brother. Dr. Claude Anderson is not your brother. The Nation Islam, not your brothers. Hebrews, Moors, Pan-Africanists, Adels, FBAs, MGTOW, Red Pill, Passport Bro. These are not your brothers. I am your brother. I'm trying to be my brother's keeper. I am the only one saying what you don't want to hear. Now you want to get religious? Didn't Jesus come with a message that nobody wanted to hear? Don't all the prophets always come with a message that nobody want to hear? You want to believe it's easy, but, but if you sit down and think about it, you'll see the impossibilities of using this system against itself. It won't work. It won't work. Now, as soon as enough of y'all reach that conclusion and come to me, then we start the real work. Because we got work to do, brothers and sisters. We got work to do. It is on us. We are God's chosen people. We have to build this nation. We have to build a, a nation of peace, a nation of serenity. We have to build a nation within this nation, but it's gotta be a nation of God. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time I'm out of here, I'm Brother Kush, AKA The Black Elf. So long.